Hello and welcome to day 82 of the Mindfulness Challenge. We've come outside today. It's um, it's a beautiful sunny day here in South Wales. Um, we are now well and truly into our summer period. Uh, June this year, or the 22nd, is the summer solstice, is when we have our longest day of the year. Um, still 24 hours, but in terms of um, daylight, and um, I wanted to I wanted to come on today really just to talk about a couple of things. Um, one, you know, the words that we consistently use, words like compassion and empathy and uh, love and and trust and surrender and equality and all of these things are words in many ways that are getting are getting stuck in the throats of 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 people as we see um the world sort of lurch from one situation to another coronavirus striking here in the uk in march and and now you know the the scenes that we're seeing um in in america and, and around the world due to the you know the killing the murder of of george and and I really want to try and help build the words like compassion and love and equality and trust and and all of these things and empathy and compassion and patience and it it's hard because you know you're seeing so many things going on that are not right, and that affects you and and you think to yourself, well, you know if that's not right or that's not going right then you know what difference in the world does it do I make what I do and you know it, it gets to all of us and today I'll be completely honest to you as a spiritual person my energy feels you know a little bit depleted because you know I'm feeling the pain and and the suffering and the hurt and the anguish of of so many people today and, and that's difficult and you know what we want to try and conquer is is divide and bring equality black lives matter you know and and that's important i just want us to say you know just to be get to that place where we can all hold hands and love each other and 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 live our best lives together because that's the word isn't it togetherness the ability to to be together with differing values with differing you know, religions, I, I embrace all religions, I embrace all cultures, I embrace, you know, all creeds, all, it, it, to me we are part of the human race and, and there are different times when we need to talk about different things and at the moment, you know, we're talking about racism, predominantly when it started in America and, and, and now people are standing up around the world. My concern, uh, and I'll be completely honest with you, I think that you know everybody has the right for their freedom of speech, and I, I'm sat here now on a YouTube channel talking about mindfulness today because of the lives that were sacrificed in the past to be able to give me a free voice in in the main a free country for me to be able to do this, and and you know we celebrate that. In November of every year when we say lest we forget and you know we we honor all of those people who have given have, have put their lives or gave us their lives to be able to do this video today but I'm just worried that you know a lot of these protests you know have, have been infiltrated by people who purport to have you know the same values that, that you want to demonstrate about I'm also concerned about you know the size of numbers in terms of you know the spread of the coronavirus I'm really hoping and praying that some of the numbers that I've seen in London you know over the last couple of days don't have a spike in or don't bring on the second wave of coronavirus because I really feel sorry for those frontline workers who probably at the moment are sort of just starting to think Whew, because they've been so under pressure and and I hope that these protests you know, we're not going to fuel the the pandemic fire again. Um, and I, I, I would like to protest. I would like to stand up and say what's wrong is wrong. 
Um, but at the moment, it's it's difficult because of where we are. And I just wanted to say that. I just wanted to be honest and say, you know, I think we need to think about how we convey our messages based upon the risk and everything that goes on it. And that's not down crying anybody who's done anything. To me, it just, you know, I have to have that moral conversation with myself. You know, in the UK, we all stand outside and we clap on the door every Thursday night at eight o'clock to thank those people who every single day of their lives go into hospitals to put their lives at risk to help save the life of others. And, you know, it'd be interesting. What are those key workers thinking when they see 17,000 people in London all together? The message is right, it's it's wrong what's happened, but you know, can we can we send a more powerful message of togetherness and equality and love and compassion by understanding the whole situation that the world is in today and how we can bring it all together to ensure that there are no more murders like George and how we can all work together on the back of that. And it is hard because you just think, where's it all going and where's it all going to end? All that I know is, is that every day I try as best I can, and I've had a disagreement with my daughter yesterday about this, is that I try the best I can, you know, to be love and give love. And those are two really strong messages at the moment. Love yourself, have compassion and patience and tolerance you know, for for you and the things that you do in your life and for others, you know, and that and that's important. So today really isn't about anything really, just about my thoughts and and it's quite today I feel a bit sad. I do feel a bit sad today because of you know what's going on in the world. But I know and I've said it a million times and it brings a smile to my face, is that we all have the opportunity to help to change the world and to help to make this world a better place where there is true equality, where there is true compassion, empathy, patience and love for everybody that's around us. And I'll keep trying to work to that day until I leave this place. And the only way to do that is by starting to build love and compassion and empathy and everything right here, right now, in a very small place in Wales. So, day 82 isn't about meditation, it's just about a talk and how we need to think about our actions and what we do and be more mindful and have self-awareness and compassion and love and thing for others. So, I suppose today's exercise is about when you think of these situations, let's think about how we can be more compassionate, how we can be more loving, how we can be more empathetic, and how we can develop ourselves and develop those around us on day 82 of the Mindfulness Challenge. So my challenge to you today is be more mindful of everything that you do with solid values of empathy, compassion, love, patience and trust. I'm going to go and do a meditation, so all I need you to do today, without me, is just close your eyes and check into your body. There's a great timer called Insight Timer, it's, um, it's a free app, and you can download it to do timing meditations. All I want you to do is download that app today, Set it for 10 minutes and just focus on your breath. You'll hear a timer, ding, and when it's after 10 minutes you hear a ding and just focus on your breath. And every time you drift away, just bring your thought back to moment to moment, breath by breath to your breath. So today I'm going to try and be more mindful today, I'm going to try and cultivate more compassion, more love, more patience, more empathy. I'm going to try and send out those healing energies to the world as well to try and bring some calm and some settlement. 
a basin in our, that we've moved forward, that the lives of those, all of those people, who have been taken to give us the opportunity to move forward as a race. That's for what it's about for me today. So it's a rest and reflection. It's a mindfulness meditation. It's about me building and loving and creating an understanding and compassion for myself and for everybody else. Everybody else. Good morning, Julian. I love you. Good morning, the world. I love you. Good morning, everybody. I love you. Have a great day on day 82. And today, just be more mindful. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on day 83. God bless. Be love and give love. Take care. Bye-bye.